In this paper, we present a method that can simultaneously estimate and control object poses for extrinsic dexterity using tactile sensing. Let's consider some real-world tasks where in-hand object manipulation is necessary. Imagine we want to place a chess piece securely on a chessboard without interfering with other pieces. Without regrasping, there's a risk that the robot could collide with other pieces. What about using Allen key? We might need to adjust our grasp to exert the proper amount of force. And what if we need to put a pencil in a holder that is positioned deep on a shelf? In this scenario, we have to adapt the grasp to avoid collisions with obstacles. When using a screwdriver, the robot might face challenges in screwing a bolt, primarily due to its issues related to its kinematic reachability. Our method addresses these type of problems by relying solely on tactile sensing and robot proprioception. In contrast, it is hard to achieve the goal if we just take the linear motion assuming the object is fixed. Our method starts by measuring the gripper pose and a tactile image from a sensor on the gripper finger. Our method also inputs the goal configuration, approximate friction parameters, the object CAD model, and the environment orientation and height. Using these inputs, our tactile estimator controller estimates the object pose online and computes a receding horizon motion plan to achieve the desired manipulation objective. The estimator controller consists of two main components. A discrete pose estimator calculates a probability distribution over a discretized grid of relative gripper object poses. The continuous pose estimator controller then consumes this filtered probability distribution and outputs a refined pose estimate as well as the motion plan. We assess the algorithm's performance across various target configurations. In this case, the objective is to adjust the graphs to a desired orientation while maintaining sticking contact with the floor. In this scenario, the goal is to adjust both the orientation and translation of the grasp while maintaining sticking contact with the floor. In another case, an additional target configuration is introduced to pivot the object within a global coordinate frame. Lastly, in this case, the goal is to adjust the grasp to a desired orientation while sliding the floor contact to a desired location. We also evaluated the algorithm's applicability to a specific real-world task, namely object insertion, and demonstrated that its potential utility. Thank you for listening, and please feel free to reach out to us with any questions.